All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some basic correction to an image in Photoshop to enhance the colors and depth. So I've opened this photo, which I do have available for you on my website if you want to follow along. I'm going to switch to Image Mode LAB Color. Now I'm going to create a Curves Adjustment. And the first curve I'm going to do is going to be Color. So I'm going to switch to the A. Now if I hold down Alt, I can switch my grid size. And I want it to be on the smaller grid. The A channel does our magenta and our green. I'm going to pull this in three squares on the top right. We have to pull the bottom in the same amount. Otherwise, you're going to get a color cast. This is a great way to fix a color cast if you have one, but our image doesn't. So that's not what we're going for here. In the B channel, I'm going to do the same thing, but only two squares. And this, of course, all of everything I do is going to be a matter of taste. But you can see how that immediately makes the color stand out a lot more. Now I generally go at or even past where I want it because then I'll use the opacity slider to fine tune it down a little. And I'm just going to rename this to something like color enhancement or I like to call it color pop. Now I'm going to do contrast. Now for contrast I will do another curve because I adjust opacity and apply layer masks and stuff. Take advantage of the adjustment layers. So now to add contrast, we can steepen this by putting in what's commonly referred to as an S-curve. So the steeper we make it, the more contrast we bring out. And I'm focused on contrast within this main flower. So if I switch to here, I can see where that flower lives, and you can see that's where I put in the S-curve. The problem is it's darkening this. So I could try to fix that by just adding another point and bringing it back up. It doesn't work quite as well as I would like it to though. Instead, what I'm going to show you is how to create a mid-tone luminosity mask. So I'm going to delete this mask, which is just an empty mask. I'll rename this contrast or contrast pop, contrast flower, whatever you want. Go to background, go to channels, I'm going to duplicate the lightness channel, hold, hit command I to invert it, and I'm going to rename this darkness. Now I'm going to hold command and click on the thumbnail so it creates a marquee, then command alt shift and click on the lightness thumbnail and you'll see a little X appear. That means intersect. So I'm going to click it, you're going to get this warning, that's fine, click OK and save it as a new channel. And now you can see we've got a new channel. So lightness, darkness, and midtones. Rename this midtones, hit command, click on the thumbnail, get the message again, don't worry, click OK. Go back to your LAB, go back to your layers, go back to your contrast, and apply that mask. So you can see it's applied, and now you can see how it's only affecting the flower which allows us to really steepen the curve more if you want to. And what I can also do, if I take the mask off holding shift, you can see how it's affecting it. If I hold alt, I can go into the mask and then I'll go to levels with command L and I can further refine this by pulling out some of the, um, the leaves and keeping just kind of the, the flower in there so maybe something a bit more like this. That looks pretty good. So I pulled out a lot of those leaves even more. Click OK, hold Alt and go back to the original. And now you can see how it's affecting contrast only within the midtones. And now I'll definitely steepen this up even more. Maybe something, maybe something like this. Looks pretty good. So you can see all of the contrast that we've put in. And I'll go ahead and click out. So very quickly, I've gone from this flat, sort of colorless image to something with a lot more color and a lot more depth. 
one of the last things you very often will want to do is sharpen the image. The way I like to do that most often, I duplicate the background with Command-J. I'll rename this Sharpen or Sharpening, whatever you want to call it. Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. Now I'm going to go into Filter again, go to Other, and go to High Pass. And because I've done this a few times, I know 4.5 is where I'll want it. We can see how it affects things. Now because we used a smart filter, you can always go back in and change it later anyway. But I'll just go to around 4.5, click OK. And then just switch that to linear light. And you can see how that pulls out way too much sharpness. Don't worry, we're on a copied layer. I'll just lower the opacity now. And we can see how that's sharpened up the image. Good bit, but not too much. Maybe I'll go a little higher, maybe closer to 40. Something like that. That looks pretty good. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of though when you sharpen is especially where there's some highlights, like in here, it can look a little fake, a little, you can tell it's been processed. It doesn't make sense. So to fix that, there's a couple of ways to do it. In this video, what I'll show you is just add a layer mask, go to a paintbrush tool, lower your flow down. Because I'm doing a video, I'm going to use a flow of 20. If I was doing this for myself, I would take my time and use a flow of probably like 5 to 10. But to save time, I'm using a flow of 20. And I'm just going to go over some of those edges real quickly. And this will really help improve the image. Now, to save time in the video, I'm not going to do all of the edges. I'll just focus on this little area. If you look at the pictures on my website where this article is, I did go over all of them there. And you can see the difference. So just very quickly going over it here. And if I hold Shift to turn off that mask, you can see how that's affecting it. Okay, so now I'll zoom out. So I would want to do that, let me enlarge the brush, make sure you can see it. I would want to do that in this area, maybe up here a little. There's, you know, anywhere where there's kind of this light area, that would be what I'm looking for when I'm going in to fix. So you can really see actually, right here, there's some, some red and lightness hitting so I would just come over that so it doesn't look as noticeable all right so very quickly to go through each layer we started here we added color we added contrast and then we sharpened it up so our before there's our after takes very little time once you get used to it five minutes you're done you can create actions to save even more time if you want. Very easy. Thanks for watching.